Pour les musiques orchestrales, j'ai choisi. For the orchestral music, I chose to mix a classical orchestra with slightly unusual ethnic instruments that we are not at all used to hearing mixed with an orchestra. The idea was to conserve an aspect that is both antique and also fairly stripped down in all this music, to be able to take the player towards a universe that is really vast and multicultural. One of the composition techniques that I adopted for this soundtrack is to create small loops called ostinato. These are a few measures that loop with an instrument. So, for example, I like to do it with the harp, and then I'll add percussion, we will add themes with solo instruments and an orchestral arrangement. In the production of this music, there are multiple steps. So, once we've recorded the loops and the elements with acoustic instruments, what's interesting is to be able to arrange with virtual instruments. Here we use synthesizers, keyboards to add all the layers of the orchestra. Next, there's one phase which is called the copy, where we will take all the MIDI files which correspond to all the notes I've composed, and we're going to turn them into a score. That was Alexandre and Jonathan's job. It was to provide the orchestra with a score with all the details, all the nuances and all the subtleties that we're going to give to the musicians. The last step is to record it all. It's obviously the most exciting step. We went to Bratislava to record the Slovak National Symphony Orchestra. Here we are in the Bratislava Radio's Great Hall. We recorded the orchestra sessions and we are getting ready for tomorrow to record the choirs. We set up stands for 24 singers. We have a beautiful hall with a very large organ too. One of the most important parts of this music is really the work with the choir, since we worked with texts in ancient Greek and Latin. With Laure and Alexandre, we chose texts by Sophocles and Ovid. And there was a lot of work done adapting these texts to make the prosody. That's to say, really putting each syllable on the different notes that make up the choir. I also chose to evoke in the orchestral music different periods of history. First, there is antiquity, with the use of Greek zithers like the guitarra and the Greek lyra, which are really recreations of instruments from ancient times. There's also a medieval side through the use of Latin texts. We use the medieval psaltery as well as the dulcimer, and finally, the Baroque and Renaissance period with the viola de gamba that really have a major role in these compositions. So once we had all these recordings, which represents hundreds of tracks, they have to be mixed together. So that's all the work we've done with Fabien in post-production. It's at this moment that we will try to bring everything out so that we can hear as best as possible every detail, the solo instruments, all the little subtleties of the music. During the mixing, we try to magnify them so that we can hear as many details as possible. During these three years of music production, I was really delighted to meet all these musicians, to be able to interact with them, to discover other musical styles, different ways of thinking. And what I hope for with the Humankind soundtrack is that you really feel the links which are woven by the music between different peoples.